is now giving a press conference in, the, in Canberra. Let's listen to what he has to say. So, I don't want... Uh, ...has been adjourned at the request of Mr Dutton, and so I now await a letter uh, with signatures of a majority of the party room, if I receive... 43. If I receive that, then I will convene a new party room meeting. The party room, of course, met on Tuesday and uh, confirmed my leadership by a majority. So we need to see there is a majority of members, and they need to put their names to it too. Uh, these are momentous times, and it's important that people are accountable for what they're doing. So when I, if, assuming I get that letter, which I read in the press, uh, uh, is, is already in place, but perhaps maybe it, it isn't. We'll see. But as soon as I get that. My intention is to hold a party meeting at midday tomorrow. Uh, it's important that before the party meeting is held, uh, we have access to the advice of the Solicitor General on the eligibility of Mr Dutton to sit in the Parliament. Uh, and we expect that advice to be available uh, first thing in the morning. Uh, that's, the, that's what the Attorney General's uh, advised me. Uh, this is a very, very significant point. Um, as we all know, Section 44 has been a, um, a companion of this uh, 45th Parliament, but we can, I cannot underline too much how important it is that anyone who seeks to be Prime Minister of Australia is eligible to be a Member of Parliament, because a Minister, let alone a Prime Minister, who is not eligible to sit in the House uh, is not capable of validly being a minister or exercising any of the powers of a minister. So you can understand how important this issue is. Now, uh, the Solicitor General was briefed on it uh, yesterday and I'm sure is working to complete his advice, but it's a very important point. So, and of course we don't know what he'll say, but the, uh, that, that advice at least will mean the party room is informed and indeed uh, Mr Dutton is informed. Uh, so that may, you know, impact on his decision to run or not. Uh, in terms of my own intentions, uh, when the party room meeting is called, I will invite uh, a spill motion to be moved. If the motion is carried, I will treat that as a vote of no confidence and I will not stand as a candidate in the ballot. So that... Those are the events that will unfold uh, over the next uh, few days. Uh, there's time enough to talk about the implications of uh, these events. I just say this to you all. As you know, the government that I have led has been a very effective one. We've achieved an enormous amount in uh, economic reform and social reform uh, in this parliament, despite the fact that we have had a one-seat majority in the House and... Uh, a minority in the Senate. The Cabinet has worked very, very cohesively and confidentially. It's been a very good Cabinet. I want to thank all the Cabinet Ministers. Uh, the reality is that a, a minority in the party room, uh, supported by um, others outside the Parliament, have sought to bully, intimidate others into uh, making this change of leadership that they're seeking. Uh, it is a, it's been described uh, by many people, including those who feel uh, they cannot resist it as a form of madness. Uh, and it is remarkable that we are at this point when only a month ago we were, as you all know, being avid readers of polls, uh, just a little bit behind Labor on the public polls and on our, on our own polls a little bit ahead, but on any view thoroughly competitive. So those are the events that will uh, unfold over the next few days. I'm happy to take a few questions, but please don't all shout at once.